pushing and shoving in central Bangkok. Anti-coup protesters scuffle with the military. This man was arrested and led away in a headlock. Chanting, get out, and elections, elections, a clear message against last week's military coup. So basically, what's happened now is the, uh, some of the protests have actually once again chased the military down the street, so they've all been pushed back up into the stairs and away from the protest area. So once again, the protesters have literally pushed them back. Interspersed with Sunday shoppers, these protests are still relatively small and contained, although they are breaking military law, which bans gatherings of more than five people. This man says, I'm here to call for democracy. I refuse to accept rules and laws from thieves. The military says, you are civilians, you can't fight us, this woman tells us. Why don't they lay down their weapons and fight us with their bare hands? Some young soldiers do not look up to the challenge. The military says Yingluck Shinawat, the former prime minister deposed earlier this month, is no longer in detention. But her aides tell us she does not have freedom of movement or communication. Leaders on both sides of this bitter political divide have been held. General Prayut Chan Shah, now in complete control of the country, says elections will not be called until the country returns to normal. Public resistance to Prayut is growing. The longer this coup lasts, the louder these voices will become. Paula Hancock's CNN Bangkok.